Yo, what's good with y'all fellas? We are back with another video. Another day, another video, man. Hope y'all had a good day, a wonderful day. But anyway, I'm not gonna lie, reading chapter one of Borto 2 Blue Vortex, you know, Himawari and people been hitting about it for a while. There's something about Himawari that we don't know about. It's something that we don't know about, bro. The first instance was how Damon was shocked at her power. He seen something that she didn't see, and then he jumped on her like a maniac. That was kind of crazy, but it also gave me the idea, like, Himawari, she could definitely be a key into this, or maybe reversing Ada's omnipotence, or rescuing Naruto and Hinata. It all has to come down to what Ikimoto and Kishimoto cooking. What are they cooking about her, bro? A lot of people say she can awaken the Tensei Gon. She can actually because of Hamura and Hulgaromo's chakra that she houses in her body. Her mother's the Byakugan princess and Borto housed the Jogon. So if there's any type of connection between those two siblings, it has to be hinted at in the title, Two Blue Vortex. Like, you see where I'm getting at? Before we get into the video, make sure y'all go subscribe to bro. I'm gonna leave his link to his channel in the description below, I'm also put at the top. If y'all leave a like on this video, y'all gotta leave a like on him, bro. Come on, show him some love, bro. But anyway, let's get into the video. Today's board to video, I'm proving you that the Jogan and the Tensei Gan are like two different sides of the same coin. However, the true Tensei Gan hasn't been revealed yet because I think I have found evidence that both Tonari and Hamura had only 50% of the essence needed to transform a pure Hyuga Byakugan, which I think is different from mm. a Natsutsuki Byakugan, into a true Tensei Gan, which I believe is different. Is different than a what? Different from a Natsutsuki Byakugan. Oh, so they're both different. So maybe the Hyuga Byakugan can only summon about 50% of the Tensei Gan power and Otsutsuki Byakugan could summon 100% of the Tensei Gan because they both evolve into the Tensei Gan. But Himawari, being that she definitely has the Otsutsuki genes in her, she definitely has this type of Byakugan, I'm forced to believe. Because if you guys have been keeping up with Himawari since the early days, you know her Byakugan is broken. Her Byakugan is hella strong. They need to dive more deep into it. But I can see if they want to try to keep some stuff secret to really expose it at the end. I'm all with it. I'm all with it, bro. But if it comes out that Himawari has an Otsutsuki Byakugan, that's going to shake everybody up. It's going to be like, wow. So then she can unlock 100% of the Tensei Gan power. Into a true Tensei Gan, <laughs> which I believe is different from the Tensei Gan that Hamura and Tonari had. This is a power that even the Otsutsukis shouldn't have, similar to the Jogen, the oh power God. of the gods. Oh the other 50% of this essence was passed down by Hagoromo to the Senju clan, then to the Uzumaki clan, and finally to Boruto. <laughs> finally to Boruto, causing his Jogen. But it also went to Himawari, causing Demon to notice something special about yeah, her. He did. Most likely it's the true and, and mind you, he freaked out. Like, this is enough to make Damon freak out. Mind you, Damon didn't even sniff at Code with no limiters, by the way. He didn't even sniff at him. Himawari made him freak out, like start sweating, sweating bullets, bro was running out the store. Hopped on her back, like, yo, what the what the fuck is this? I'm trying to tell y'all something crazy about her. And pure Tensei Gan, which hasn't awakened yet, but exists as potential energy within Himawari. Maybe Demon has an ability from his Shibai DNA that lets him recognize the Shibai DNA in Himawari. He might think she's either a cyborg or part of a group that Demon and Ada know, possibly even from Amado, who used powers from Shibai. Or he thinks she's a full blood Otsutsuki. Long story short, only the Hyuga- Wait, what was that? Wait, why did he put this? Shibai, Hold on, wait, why he did he put that? Why did he put this? Y'all see, a... see what the hell he did? Y'all seen what the hell Blue he did? Otsutsuki. I'm gonna click off this Long shit. story. Why he do that? Y'all seen that? Why he, why, why, why the curved cucumber like that? Bro. All right, let's forget about it. <sighs> Short, only the Hyuga clan who have the pure Byakugan can awaken the true Tensei Gan. But they need the DNA of the Sanju clan, specifically the Uzumaki bloodline. Meanwhile, the Uzumaki clan can awaken the Jogen if they have Hyuga DNA. These are two related aspects, each with a different primary focus, yet they are the same. This happened because the Hyuga and Uzumaki bloodline united for the first time in history. This put the essence of that power back together, Sheesh. making Porto Uzuhiko, the Uzumaki prince, and Himawari Uzuhime, the Uzumaki prince. Oh, that's how you say it, Uzuhime. They are the two blue vortex, the only two living beings who manifested the power of a god. 
in the mortal dimension. Okay. I believe they received this power from the chakra fruit that Kaguya consumed. This fruit has absorbed the godly power of Shibai during his ascension. To fully understand, we need to quickly go over the basic premise, otherwise nothing will make sense. So last time we established that every form of ninjutsu is an attempt to replicate shinjutsu. Because of this, anyone who can use ninjutsu must be somehow related to Natsutsuki or have received powers that come from Natsutsuki associated with that specific shinjutsu. This all makes sense given the fact that Kaguya is like the mother of all the shinobi. Her DNA is responsible for the abilities in humanity. But then we found out that this can only be true for a few families that are directly related to Kaguya. These are every family that comes from Hagoromo and Hamura. That means Indra and Ashura who created the Uchiha Senju and Uzumaki clan and possibly the Kaguya clan. Uh. And at least two children from Hamura. I will explain why later in this video. One stayed on earth and created the Hyuga clan. The other one went with their father Hamura to the moon where they kept- That's actually insane. Yes. I'm so mad that I didn't see it before. Hagoromo's chakra and Hamura's chakra finally coming together again is insane. It's happening in a form that we never expected. If you didn't even see Naruto the last movie, you gotta go watch it because it's it's gonna explain everything. Everything is gonna make sense. Time going. These families show the special abilities from Kaguya, which are often called Keke Genkai. But this didn't explain why people who are not related to Kaguya but receive chakra directly from Hagoromo can use Indra's ninjutsu, which is an attempt to replicate Shinjutsu. But they can't use any abilities that come from Kaguya's DNA because they are not blood related. So if people can get abilities derived from Shinjutsu without being related to Natsutsuki, although all Shinjutsu must come from a Natsutsuki and not every Natsutsuki can use every Shinjutsu, then this means that even if they are not related to Kaguya, they must still have some connection to a power source that comes from another Natsutsuki besides Kaguya. That's why Otherwise, it's a use plot chakra. Hole. There's a reason why Kishimoto revealed that two other Natsutsukis were on Earth before Kaguya. So if Kaguya could give humans special abilities, why wouldn't one of the other Tsutsukis have a similar effect. And since it's confirmed that Shibai remains were found on Earth, and there was already a god tree on Earth before Kaguya arrived, we can safely say that Shibai she... was the one who planted the tree Damn. with his partner and ate the final fruit, which caused his ascension on Earth to the god dimension. Thereby he left his one. physical body behind and it was later picked up by Amado. Maybe they'll have to go and study Shibai's remains to see where this is all coming from. Maybe Himawari can get some type of Shinjutsu on her own. But the thing is, if they both had the Jutsu Boruto having the Jogon and Himawari having the Tensei Gon, then what can those two do that's going to save the ninja world? That's a kind of a plot twist because I, I would think like Boruto and Kawaki would be the ones to really save the ninja world and then them fall out at the end. But nah, maybe it's going to be Boruto and Himawari. And if that's the case, where is she in the other time skip? Toward the end. But before that happened, I believe the tree took in Shibai's ability for at least a thousand years until Kaguya ate the fruit. This is because a god tree takes a thousand years to grow a fruit. And since chakra that doesn't belong to one person can easily move to another, the chakra Kaguya got from the fruit went to her children, Hagoromo and Hamura, when she gave birth to them and became part of their DNA. This is why she accused them of stealing her powers, which couldn't happen through a normal genetic power inheritance. In such normal case, she would basically be creating new beings with their own powers. So Kaguya must have lost the chakra from the chakra fruit and with it the powers of Shibai. Let's call- Oh, you know what? It does make sense. So now the chakra is finally coming back to her again. So Kaguya lost power. And a lot of people, well, I'm not going to say who, but a lot of people think Himori is actually the reincarnation of Kaguya. And the fact of the matter is, if both sides of her chakra from Hagoromo and Hamura are finally coming back to her, she can awaken the Tensei Gon. And that's kind of scary to imagine. Hey, her being the reincarnation of Kaguya without the karma mark, by the way, is, is insane. I mean, it does make sense, bro. So that would mean Borto has a stronger connection to Shibai than we actually think. Oh, I don't want to go too far. I don't want to go too far and say something I might regret. But, I don't know, two blue vortex, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm starting to get a little bit. All the normal ninjutsu that every shinobi can use basic abilities. These basic abilities come from Shibai through the chakra fruit. Now the main idea is that when Shibai became a god, he started to manifest the joke. 
All right, step one, what does it say? No Jogon, Tensei Gon, final chakra fruit, Jogon, Tensei Gon, ascendant and left JT, Jogon, Tensei Gon behind, tree absorbed God power, Amado took the remains, and then he made the cyborgs. Got you. Jogan, this is pretty much confirmed to be a power from the god dimension, as we have seen many Jogans around in the Tsutsuki god. So if Shabai's body reached the level where it could have the Jogan but couldn't physically manifest it because he became a god, it's possible that the energy was easily absorbed by the tree because of its non-physical manifestation. It was just energy. Shabai didn't have time to manifest it. This happened because the energy didn't have a physical form yet like the other eye abilities of Shibai. That's why Amado only found the powers that had a physical form form which he could then put into his cyborgs so it's like bits and pieces of the whole jogon which he used to actually create these cyborgs so if that's true the jogon and tensegon <laughs> is broken it's actually broken because all the cyborgs that amato made from the remains of shibai the jogon and tensegon probably houses all of that power i'm not even gonna say that they both have the same power because they gotta be something that sets them both apart then later, the essence of the Jogan, because it is different from any other power, didn't choose to go to either Hamura or Hagoroma because they are twins, so it's split in two. Both got 50%, which is not enough to manifest the Jogan. I think we can safely assume that the reason Boruto doesn't have the Byokugan is not because his father's DNA is stronger, it's more like that he has the Jogan instead. We know from Kishimoto himself that when two people with different dojutsus have a child, their powers show up in different eyes. So even if Boruto got Naruto's eyes, he should still have at least one Byakugan. But he doesn't, which means that Boruto must really have the Jogan. This could prove that the Jogan has always been part of the combination of Uzumaki and Hyuga DNA. Now let's talk about where the Tensei Gun comes from. We know that Hamura's moon family, who are human Nutsutsukis, can manifest the Tensei okay. Gun if they get the Byakugan from the Hyuga clan. This shows that the Hyuga Byakugan is different from the Otsutsuki Byakugan. It looks like the human moon Nutsutsuki clan got their Byakugan from Kaguya's DNA making it a normal Byakugan, which is why they are the Utsutsuki clan. On the other hand, the Hyuga clan might have got their Byakugan from the source of the chakra fruit that Kaguya ate and with that from Shabai. So the idea is that Hakorom and Hamura inherited another unknown Dojutsu from Kaguya. In a yes, it's kind of like the Hyuga Byakugan being a hella weaker version of the Otsutsuki Byakugan. The Otsutsuki Byakugan coming from their direct source and the Hyuga Byakugan coming from like a secondary source. It's pretty self-explanatory. So if Himawari does have the Otsutsuki Byakugan, that would make her shit twice as strong as the Hyuga's. So she'll be therefore able to unlock 100% of the Tensei Gon's power. In addition to the Rinnegan and the Byakugan, but they couldn't use it. Hagoromo didn't even notice it. However, Hamura, who is extremely underrated compared to Hagoromo, did notice that power inside him. He worked on extracting and manifesting it as a source of energy in the physical world. He couldn't use it because he inherited his mother's normal Otsutsuki Byakugan, which is not compatible with the Tensei Gan. That's why Tonari needed Hyuga eyes. They are the ones, just like the Senju, who received that essence. Everyone thought the Uchiha were the lucky ones, but all in Uzumaki needed were the eyes of a Hyuga. And it seems all that needed. all the Hyuga need to awaken whatever that mysterious power might be is the DNA of an Uzumaki. Just like an Uchiha can uh, turn their Sharing Gun into a Rinnegan with the help of Senju DNA, or like the Utsutsuki can manifest the Tensei Gun with Hyuga DNA. Maybe something happens by combining Senju and Hyuga DNA. Maybe the Jogun. Maybe the Tensei Gun. Gun, maybe something completely different. You might have That's noticed a fire that the thumbnail, Jogan looks the exactly I like a Byakugan but in a different color and shape. In the anime, Bort even foreshadowed the connection when he claimed to have awakened the Byakugan. So I know what he means. If you flip the Tensei Gun over, it will be the Jogan. You see how both of the eyes look? The Tensei Gun looks like an opposite side of the Jogan. Two blue vortex. The Jogon is like a dark, it has a dark outer shape, the light blue inner, but the Tensei Gon is like an opposite. It's like a brighter color, a brighter, more fluorescent blue with like a white outer. I guess that's something they tried to do. I, I get it though, I get it. So it is basically two sides of the same coin. Kugan when in reality it was the Jogan. Tonari also proved the connection between the Jogan and the Byakugan and with that the Tensei Gan as a representative of the original bloodline of the Otsutsuki Byakugan. 
The reason we haven't seen the Jogen in the manga yet could be the same reason the Tsutsuki clan need to take out their eyes to receive the Tensei Gan. So by destroying his physical eye, Boruto receives the Jogen. It probably will take some time though, just like with the Tensei Gan. But we haven't we seen him open his eye yet, so we don't know. That's something that will likely happen soon and confirm the Jogen in the manga. And that's it for this Boruto 2 Blue Vortex Theory. Man. Please let me know in the comments what you- Hey man, oh. That's insane. <laughs> so leave in the comment section if you believe Himawari does have the Tensei Gon, and we already know Boruto should have the Jogon. When the two powers come together, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Will they be able to release Aedas Omnipotence? Will they be able to fix everything back to normal? What are they going to do? Like, what what's the significance here, bro? Let me know in the comment section. But anyway, make sure you guys go subscribe, show him some love, show this video some love if you're new. Subscribe, we here all week. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for a thousand subscribers and come on, peace.